Stay tuned as we take a look at this Marvel Legends Cannonball from the Windigo Build a Figure Wave. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at It's Dan Who. Today we are continuing to look at this Marvel Legends Windigo Builder Figure Wave, aka the X Force Wave. And in front of me, we may just have the most controversial figure of 2019. It is, of course, Cannonball. Now, why is he controversial? I hear you ask. Well, that's because he seems to be missing a vital part of his body, but we shall get into that when we open it. What he does have in the box is a builder figure piece for the Windigo builder figure, as do all of the figures in this wave, and this massive cannonball effect piece, which does look quite nice, but again, he seems to be missing something. Hmm, I wonder if it's in the box. Nope. Uh, but yes, on the side of the box, we're getting a picture of Cannonball. On the back, we're getting this nice graphic design picture of Cannonball, which I'm appreciating. And then as always, you get a list of all the figures in this wave you need to complete the Windigo Builder figure. Today, we're reviewing Cannonball. So yes, as I said, controversial. Uh, I've seen a lot of people online talk about this guy. So let's open him up and I'll tell you why. And here we have Cannonball out of the box. And uh, please, someone help him. Put him out of his misery. He seems to be struggling. He has no legs. I can't believe it. What happened to his legs? Cannonball has no legs. Uh, Hasbro decided not to give us legs for Cannonball, uh, which is pretty funny. We've brought half a figure. This is how stupid we are. We buy 100 Spider-Men, there's 100 reissues of Wolverine, and now we're buying figures like half a figure, so now we're buying figures with no legs. Hasbro, what are you doing? At least he can break dance pretty good, to be fair. Um, <laughs> you know what? It's not a bad looking figure, it's just half of a figure. Um, but what he does come with in the box is a build a figure piece for the Windigo build a figure. So, as always, subscribe to the channel and come back as we will be reviewing the Windigo last, as always. Nice leg. Maybe the, he can have this leg, hop around. <laughs> nope, doesn't work, sorry. Um, and he does, of course, come with an effect piece, which is this. Uh, this is a quite a decent effect piece, to be fair. Uh, it's just like a translucent, yellowy, uh, orangey plastic. It's hollow in the middle, um, but it's quite a solid piece. Uh, it's not soft. It's solid enough. It will stand there. Um, and this is meant to resemble Cannonball's effects. So I think this is the reason Hasbro decided not to give us legs for Cannonball, to use this instead. So... You just plug him in and Cannonball will just sit on top and it does click in place. And now we get Cannonball resembling his powers. Now, obviously, I'm taking the mick out of Hasbro a little bit because um, I actually prefer it when they give us pieces in the box that resemble the character's abilities. So if it was between these, this effect piece or a set of legs, would I have chosen a set of legs? Yeah, probably still would have chose a set of legs, but still, I do like the effect piece. I just wish it come with a set of legs. Um, Bug Nice kept saying it best, get get my man some legs, hashtag it. Uh, Hasbro seemed to know as they did make a deal of it at the San Diego Comic-Con panel, um, and they played like a clip from Forrest Gump. Um, so maybe we'll get a reissue of Cannonball down the line with some legs, as this is the X-Force version of Cannonball. Of course, it is part of the X-Force wave, but uh, Cannonball's probably most known for being part of the new mutants. Um, so I do think they're going to give us a Cannonball with legs eventually. But I like the fact we can display him with his powers. Even though his powers aren't that he's got no legs, it's just that he can make energy blasts come out of his skin. So he uses it from his feet and legs. So usually you, we should be able to see his legs and feet in this blast, but obviously we can't. So that would have been a better representation of his power, but I get it. It's just a simple gimmick for the display. And again, it works fine. And I will display him like this amongst my uh, X-Force or New Mutants or however, how I decide to display him. So I get what Hasbro are doing. I am only joking around, but it would have been good to get at least some interchangeable legs. But let me zoom in. I'll show you what half of a figure we've actually got, because I do think it's decent. And uh, then we'll talk about Cannonball himself. So there's a closer look at Cannonball. And as I said, I do like the face sculpt. I like the gritted teeth. I like he's wearing those sort of aviator goggles there, those flying goggles with his hair. And the hair is a decent sculpt with some paintwork in there. It's like a, 
a sort of dirty blonde, shall we say. Um, and he's got his flight cap on, of course, um, which is a separate piece uh, that you can sort of flick around. Uh, the jacket is, of course, a separate piece as well, and it looks like he's wearing some sort of uh, karate pyjamas underneath. Uh, but I do like the purple. And then, of course, he's got the brown um, gloves. Again, very f flight ready, um, but I like it. Um, so for half a figure, it's a good half of a figure. It's just you move on up and obviously he's got nothing at the waist. So let me take that off and that's what it is. So there's a hole in there, there's a plug in there and you just plug them in like that. And they do click in with a bit of force so they're not going to fall out. Um, but I've seen a lot of people do some customizations, people using paddling legs, people using shatter star legs, um, and people using electro legs like uh, there's tons of uh, different options of course you just need to paint them so they fit in with his current uniform uh, but I'm not going to customize uh, I don't like breaking other figures to fix other figures so um, <clears throat> I will be keeping my cannonball with his effect piece on and again as I said the effect piece is hollow um, but it is nicely sculpted all bubbly nice and smooth um, and will work for what it's meant to represent. Cannonball blasting off. So for anyone who may not be familiar with Cannonball and know where he's from or who he is entirely and what he has to do with the X-Men, then I probably won't explain all that, but I will give you a little bit of information in a segment I like to call Cannonball. Who is he? This is the part of the video where we ask the question, who is he? And I try and give you a little bit of information about the character this figure is inspired by. So, Cannonball, who is he? Real name Sam Guthrie is a mutant and his powers manifested when he blasted his way out of a collapsed mine. His body generates thermochemical energy from his skin, meaning he can propel himself through the air just like a rocket. His first full appearance was Marvel graphic novel number four, The New Mutants in September of 1982. Professor X recruited Sam to be a founding member of the New Mutants, but he has since went on to join many teams in the Marvel Universe. So there you go, I hope that helps. Again, I do not claim to be an expert, but it is nice to have a little bit of information about the characters these figures are inspired by. So let's jump straight into some comparisons, and his effect piece does make him taller than your average Marvel Legends. Here we have Shatterstar, and as I said, I've seen a few people actually use these legs for this guy. They're just painting the black purple to match the top and uh, yeah maybe you can use Shatterstar legs for your cannonball but I don't want to destroy one figure just to fix another hopefully Hasbro will do that for me in the near future we also have Cable obviously Cannonball was part of X Factor for a long time and he was like the second in command the field leader if you will and uh, yeah Cannonball and Cable definitely had a relationship in the comics um, in their teams and whatnot and here we have Cannonball compared to the other figures in this Windigo wave that I've reviewed so far with Mr. Sinister, X-Force Wolverine, and of course, Kurt Wagner, AKA Nightcrawler. And as you can see, Cannonball with his effect piece on is about the same height, if not taller than Mr. Sinister. So it does make him stand out in your display. So if you're gonna have him behind figures on your display, you'll still be able to see um, him and I, I quite like that so we can stand him in front uh, behind some figures and with this effect piece will actually help him stand out so I'm sure I'll find my uses for it on display as I said I am only joking that he's got no legs uh, but it would have been nice to at least include them as an option so yeah final thoughts are keep the petitions rolling keep the hashtag going this man's got no legs get this man some legs whatever bug nice said keep doing it because it's hilarious um but what we have got is pretty good. I, again, I tease, but it is a decent looking figure. Um, it just just has no legs. But yeah, it's Cannonball, undeniably Cannonball. I always say I like figures that display their abilities. And let's be honest, we can display his abilities to some degree. And uh, they did a decent job with this effect piece. And at least it's a new one that we haven't seen before. Um, so yeah, it's a fun looking figure. Uh, just probably should have been cheaper than the rest. But uh, yeah, you let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you 
happy with this or are you really disappointed you got no legs? Like, what, what are you saying? Have you tried to replace his legs? What are the best option if I wanted to make him some custom legs? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious as I'm sure a lot of you guys have had the same issue and concern. So let me know in the comments below. But as always, go and check out the videos tab, hundreds, literally hundreds of Marvel Legends reviews and help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Well, you guessed it hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And as always, my name is Dan W and I shall see you on the next one.